Hi, I'm Erin, and today is demo day. Ah, f <laughs> so first thing this morning, the power company was out here. We had called them prior to make arrangements with them so that they could cut power to the pole that runs between this rental house of ours and another cabin that is right over near the street. And then last night, Josh came down here and he went and cut power directly to the house so that we could do this safely. This power line right here is what makes this such a big deal. The issue is, it's probably three feet from the house. Legit, like from the metal roof to the line is three feet. So we're just trying to stay away from it with the machines. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning it off, but yeah, I mean, oof, I'd hate to hit that thing. We'll see. <laughs> We're down at the rental house. It's not really a rental house anymore, but our plan today is to take that guy down and put him in uh, three dumpsters. Yeah. So as a little bit of a recap on this rental house, in case you guys don't know the details, this is at the very bottom portion of our property. It's about a half mile away from the part of the property that we live on yes. and where our house is at. And when we bought this property, we bought it for the big section of it, which is where we built the house up at. Up top, we have the mountain views and everything yes. up on the pasture. This is at the very low end of the property next to the main road. But it all came together. Yes. So we were going to buy it, whether this was here or not here. We bought it sight unseen down here um, just because we didn't really care. We wanted that up there. Yeah. So once we once the renters moved out and we finally got in there and got a good look at what was going on in there. We realized how bad this place was. It was a, I think, mold infested electrically problemed, um, rotting, leaking mess. Smelling. So, yeah, y'all can't smell through the camera. It's unfortunate because it's awful. No, it's probably a good thing you can't smell through the yeah, camera. Yeah, it's disgusting. That is all water, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. That's supposed to be, it's not supposed to be that way. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's... You see the ceiling, everywhere you look, it's... Sagging everywhere. Initially, we actually did consider potentially rehabbing the house and taking it on as a project. So we really looked into everything. We started cutting open ceilings and like get, getting a good look at stuff, and that's when we realized the extent of the problems. Yes, and I think it's like a 1950s trailer with an addition on it in the probably early 80s. Yes. So. And among problems is the fact that there's a power line that runs right along the corner of the house. Yeah. So once we realized that we needed to tear it down, it wasn't possible to uh, rehab it, um, we decided that we also were not going to try to scrap or salvage or save anything out of there. We were not going to piece this house apart mm -mm. because it's just a it's a risk. It's too much of a risk. Yeah, we're not going to let anybody come on, onto the house and climb on the roof and pull metal panels down because uh, if they get hurt and they get sued and just the, it's a whole can of worms we don't want to open. Yes, so we're not doing it. We're not going to let anybody else do it. We did offer for the fire department to come and burn it down. Unfortunately, there were too many hoops for them to jump yeah. through, EPA. which is a real shame. Um, so that leaves it to us. Now it's going in dumpsters. Do you know how to operate that thing, Aaron? I know how to turn it on, I think. You do? Are you licensed? No. <laughs> I have no business doing this. I'm That's scared. Fun. Are you scared? A little bit. For you. <laughs> We got this thing torn down in no time. I think the time consuming part is going to be cleaning the mess up on the ground with the, with the uh, skid steer. Probably. Are you having fun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, this thing has no problem tearing this thing apart. Yeah. There's zero issues whatsoever. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's doing great. Easy, man. Fun day, though. Oh, yeah. I've wanted to do this for years, never <laughs> had to. You know? 
This video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. It's a place where we can learn new skills and deepen our existing passions while exploring topics such as film, photography, marketing, and more. And since it's curated specifically for learning, you don't have to deal with ads interrupting your experience. I'm currently taking the class Fundamentals of DSL Photography with Justin Bridges. The beautiful thing about this class is you quickly get caught up to speed on how to master your settings and how to shoot in manual mode properly. Justin also lets you in on his must-have gear and recommendations on a budget. One of the things I love about Skillshare is that there is something for everyone, whether you're a beginner, a pro, or a master. And they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first thousand subscribers to click the link in the description box below will get a free trial of the premium membership so that you too can explore your creativity. Now let's get back to the build. first portion of the house done. If you guys remember, this entire portion coming out right here is actually a trailer that had been built onto and what he just removed behind that was a wood stove that we are setting aside in case we want to use that in another building. We got half the house torn down. Um, we see water damage and mold in the drywall. We expected all that stuff. So 
Next, I'm gonna clean everything up, then move to the side of the house and start tearing that stuff down. And that's where the power line is. We gotta get that done so the power company can come back and turn the power back on. Come and see the crooks and thieves Rioting the renegade streets Working for the devil's feet The torture the work is done Savior comes to save the weak The lame man walks, the blind man sees In the inner land where no one's free They know that the day will come Shadows rise, step out of the darkness and into the light. Yeah, call him the heathen. I completely forgot to cut the cable line, or the telephone line. If I need to get there and cut that line right there. I meant to do it, but I forgot. The house is coming down very easy. It is. Pulling right through it. Yeah. It's pretty fun. I hope that was the right wire. <laughs> oh, it was. It's telephone. So, I was pulling it down, and I saw that pole right there start shaking like that really hard, and I realized I forgot to cut the uh, telephone line. But if you look above us, that's where the uh, high voltage line was came across the house. They pretty much just hooked onto that line and tied it and pulled it back about 15 feet. So we can get in here with the uh, excavator safely and uh, tear it all down. Because previously that power line was running right along the corner of this house, or yeah. right there. Like, I mean, you could reach here, Here's the corner it. of the house right here, and it was right here, yeah. three feet. So I was talking to the guys, like, how does this happen? He said the power line was here prior to them building the house. But I guess they parked the trailer here and they built the addition on it right to the power line they should not have. Yes. But it's West Virginia, so we expect. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the house? She's speechless. <laughs> speechless, I tell you. going just everywhere out here. That's why we've been wearing respirators all day today. It smells absolutely disgusting out here. Like the house is just, it, it's gag worthy the way that it's smelling inside there. I switched machines. I'm gonna use a grapple on that skid steer. Get in there and start picking all that up and dumping it in. It's so crazy seeing the house down like this. I mean, just a matter of, you know, just a couple of hours. 
What a difference it's made. Now I'm about to get the uh, excavator. I'm going to pull all that stuff back and pull it in. That little guy right there, he's uh, a, was a good something. He's gonna, he's doing that a lot. His end's coming up. You've got quite the mess to clean up. Man, it looks good though. It does look good. I mean, it looks good. better, believe it or not, it looks better than it did before. Once it's all cleaned up, nice and neat, it's gonna look, it's gonna look great. And then do we get to build a new house? Yes. <laughs> do you want to? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll put, we can't put it right there though. Oh yes, we're not gonna make that mistake. No, we gotta put it probably 20 feet this way. Yeah. So the question is, did you order enough dumpsters? I don't think so. I think three is not enough. I think I need a fourth one because that guy's floor, I gotta clean him up a little bit. He's about 80%, the other guy's about 40%, I think. So, we'll see. I think you'll be able to smash it down, Josh. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see if that works. doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> Josh. Look, tell you right now, there's rats in there this big. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Is that why you were screaming? No, that's not even counting tails. <laughs> the tail's like that big, I swear. They're huge. There's all five of them. <laughs> you gonna go in there? No. Why? I'm gonna tear it down. Alright, so we're done. Um, the house came down with ease with that machine, no big deal. <laughs> um, we used four dumpsters, yes. not three. Mm -hmm. So my calculations were a little bit off. Um, so our first time tearing down the house, which was fun, it was a blast. <laughs> I suggest everyone does one, <laughs> right? Yeah. So down here, we actually use all this land. It's all actually for pasture grass, for hay. It all gets turned into hay. Um, but we are gonna plan on putting another house down here. Yeah, another small rental yes. home that's you know nice and cute and actually safe, not a dump. Yes. It was a disaster. Yeah, this one had to go. So it'll be it'll be fun to, you know, replace it and put something nice and cute down here. I look forward to that because yes. it actually it looks a lot better now. Having that house gone it seems weird to say that, but it actually looks a lot better. Yeah, I think that trailer is probably from the fifties. I imagine. You see the original blue color it was awful. It's been a bunch of different colors. It Who looks knows? Like. <laughs> but it's a, it came down these, so that's all I'm happy about. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. So, so we right. just got to pick up the rest of the little scrap by hand yep. that's that's on the ground and then we just got to take care of that shed and... We, I brought the big guns in for that. Come on Aaron, show them. There you go. <laughs> She's tearing it down with the excavator. A little easy project for me. You know, <laughs> something to like carefully step into. There's no power lines around it so there's no... Thank goodness. You can't really damage anything but the shed itself. <laughs> Which is meant to be damaged. Yes. <laughs> Perfect job for me. Yes.
Now pull back and slam him. Not what I wanted, but it's okay. What a disappointment! It was a disappointment, you're right. <laughs> I've had my fun, get me out of here. That big gun's come through here and take care of business. I'll take care of it, don't worry about it. <laughs> How'd it feel? Good. I think I got a future in, uh, in demoing houses. You know, what do you think, Josh? I think so. I mean, not too bad, you know? No, it's, good. it's too scary. I don't have, like, the motor function skills. You, of, like, you'll get over time. You'll get better. Anybody got any houses they need torn down? <laughs> Call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so all this stuff's going to the scrapyard. Um, all the, the rough stuff is a frame of that trailer. Rust it out a little bit. Um, I need to take that, grab it with the bucket and the thumb, and pick it up and slam it down and bend it and get it, I guess, more condensed. Yeah, to fit in the trailer. Yeah, and same with the sheet metal for the roof. We gotta take that, just crinkle it up, and hopefully put that in there first and put the steel on top. And yeah. And then Hope you're gonna take me out to dinner with whatever you get from the scrapyard? Yeah, I'm hoping I get 100 bucks. Woohoo! We'll, we'll see. <laughs> My lucky day. <laughs> Alright, that's it guys. Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs>